yourself. Uh, so basically, uh, so um, Sarah, she went to 4,000 and 5,000. She got most of the strong lines, in, even in the weird regions. And then she sent it to me, and I, I took these strong lines, and I, I, I put in my veining code, and I run it. Uh, and here is the resulting veiling. And I, I'm not, so these lines, this data here, zero, it makes no sense. And these outliers, I, I don't like them. So they seem to be something spurious. Let me take the, the, the edge. So this is what we have. So <clears throat> this veiling here is the veiling of the weak lines, right? So it's it's not including strong lines. The good thing is it's kind of a nicely grouped here, except in this region, which I think we are having problems with water lines or something. So those are uh, data to be taken out. But the scattering is much better. I think it's less scattered than, than we had before. So in that sense, I'm happy with it. But let me plot uh, the veiling of strong lines. It's a lot of scattering going on. So these in red are the regions in which she found uh, emission lines or water lines. So all of these here represent water lines exactly in this region where you have a bunch of water lines. And right here, probably emission, I don't know, but uh, those are the, the strong strong lines so weak lines and strong lines oh I'm sorry I'm saying something wrong so these red are the veilings of the strong absorption lines and and they are supposed to be compared with the veiling of weak lines because of that paper that claim these veilings have two different origins just by looking at the scattering here I I, I think I have to do a better work in trying to to understand how this veiling is calculated. So what I did is, in fact, this morning, but I didn't continue. I run veiling, uh, but visualizing what the code does. Because, for instance, if I run veiling, this code veiling, uh, without visualizing, just in automatic mode, It is going and it's done. So, and then we have this result. But if you want to see what the code is doing, for instance, for the strong lines, so I'm going to put one here, and then it's going to start showing what the veining does. So it, it, you can see there is a mismatch here. And this is the line that she selects as being strong lines. So what's the problem that's going on here? The range of velocity is not the same. So the center, the line center in green, which is uh, the titor, is not the same line center for the template. And, and that's the problem when you go to ultraviolet, um, there is a mismatch in, in, in uh, wavelength calibration. So I have to fix that, and I think I have some strategy to do, but what the code does, it, it keeps looking for a veiling. So it should stop here, but it doesn't. It keeps going, and then it's going to give some, some weird value. And then get to a point, stop, and, 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 and then go to another line. I believe this is the line over here. Let me see. Yeah. So that is good. And it's going to stop. There you go. And then go to another line. That one. Found, go to another one. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it went, went away. I don't know why it stopped. But anyway, so I have to...